Hello, hello, Pizza Packs here, and we're back with our second Double Masters 2022 collector box. So let's uh, see what we get. So, uh, kind of weird packaging on these. They do put a box in a box. I think that's more just to bulk out the packaging. So it seems like you're getting more, because there's only four booster packs in here. Which I completely forgot about. <laughs> Until I open the first one, of course. So let's see what we get in our first pack. All right, we have Last Breath Foil. Let's try to balance that better. Yeah, so we got Last, ba last Breath, Regular Foil, Experiment 1 Foil. Rampant Growth Foil, with what I believe is the 7th edition art. The 8th edition. Hissing Iguanadar. Or Iguanar? Iguanar. Anointer of Valor. Okay. Surreal, Mem Surreal Memoir. Yep. Body Double. Interesting new art on that. Then we have our first borderless non-foil with Mentor of the Meek, which has been downshifted from a rare to an uncommon. Good old power creep. Then we have Thought Scour borderless. I love that art. <laughs> That's so great. That's the Fae just washing away their thoughts. Oh, nice. A foil borderless coiling oracle with the Richard Kane Ferguson art. Then a borderless foil simic growth chamber to go along with it. For, hey, big hit. Foil to fairy's protection. Very nice. It is 32. That is our fourth to fairy's protection from this set. Then we have a borderless Moldrotha, the Grave Tide. Nice. Another big hit. This version is 384. The normal version of Moldrotha is 258. And that is our first Moldrotha from Double Masters. Then we have Dark Steel Plate in the etched foil. This version is 5. 59, normal version of Dark Steel Plate is 304, and that is our fourth Dark Steel Plate from the set. Oh, that is pretty. We have the Foil Borderless Grim Flare with the new Richard Kane Ferguson art. I'm gonna sleeve that up. I don't know that it's worth much, but he is one of my favorite artists. Let's see, this version is 280. Normal version of Grim Flare is 222, and that is our fourth Grim Flare. And then we have a zombie soldier token. Very nice. Pack two. And nice hit off that to various protection. I don't know if it's still worth a bunch, but I know it's a card that I was looking for. All right, now we have Call to the Feast. Carrier Thrall. Hero of the Games. Eel Umbra. Which is a good one. Aether Snipe. Golgari Rot Farm. Firemind Vessel. Nice. First Borderless. Unearth. I like that art. That is cool. Second Borderless. Non-foil. Young Peasy. Young Pyromancer. Nice. Borderless Foil. Is it Boilerworks? Love the new art that they did for these. 
And then Golgari Rot Farm. Very nice. I love the just train of mushrooms. That's so cool. Our first rare is Monastery Mentor. Very nice. This is actually back in standard now. Um, so I might actually get to play with it for once. That is our second Monastery Mentor from Double Masters. Now we have Oracle of Moldaya. It's our borderless. Very nice. This version is 370. Normal version of Oracle is... Let's see... Oracle, Oracle of Moldaya, 154. That is our second Oracle of Moldaya. Then we have Mathis, Fiend Seeker. That's our etched foil. This version is 523. Normal version of Mathis is 252. And that is our fourth Mathis from Double Masters. Okay. Then we have a Borderless Foil Assassin's Trophy. Oh, that is really cool art. Fraska peeking out there. I'll pop that in the sleeve. We have a really nice Worm Soldier token. Very cool. Also foil. Pack three. Oh, I need to mark the Assassin's Trophy. That version is 372. A normal version of Assassin's Trophy is 175, and that is our third Assassin's Trophy. All right, pack three. We have Inok Bonkin. Spark Mage's Gambit. Really cool foiling on that lightning. Call to the Feast. Carrier Thrall. Hero of the Games. Sprouting Thrynax. Okay. Cold Steel Heart. We have a borderless non-foil Kasali Pride Mage. Very nice. What by Inquisition of Kozilek. All right. Good hit. Then we have borderless foil Lightning Bolt. There's so many arts for Lightning Bolt at this point. I'm still a huge fan of the original Christopher Rush version. We have Wall of Omens. Well, that's cool. Looks like a petroglyph or a relief cut. Really nice. Our first rare. We have Wasatora. Nakoru Queen, which I believe is one of the worst hits in the set. 293. That is our third Wasatora. We have a borderless hardened scales. This version is 369. Nice. And that is our fifth hardened sets. Hardened scales. We have a splinter fright. A card that I genuinely forgot existed for a minute. Um an etched foil, 466 for this version. Normal version of Splinter Fright is 159, and that is our second Splinter Fright. And we, oh, that is pretty. I, I've always loved Gifts Ungiven as a card. Uh, I know it gets a lot of reprints, and a lot of people just don't care for it. Um, it's from a set I really enjoyed, and I've always enjoyed the mind games that go into playing it. That is a beautiful borderless foil version. Very reminiscent of various lunar festivals and new year festivals. Very cool. This version is 347. The normal version of Gifts Ungiven would be 51. And that is our second Gifts Ungiven from Double Masters. 
We have a foil elemental to get with young peasy and a 2 2 vigilant knight token. Nice. Pack four. Winged Coddle. Very nice. Doomed Traveler. Good. Glowspore Shaman. Kruin Striker. Liev Sky Knight. Devoted Druid. Hey, that's a good one. Nice foil Devoted Druid. Lotleth Troll. I believe this was originally a rare. And it's been downshifted to an uncommon. It's my phone, not yours. Borderless Non-Foil Simic Growth Chamber. Very nice. And Boros Garrison. Lovely. Great art on that. We have a Foil Borderless Kasali Pride Mage. Great time in magic. That's good memories tied to that. And Burning Tree Emissary. Very nice. I love how the hair is just, just pops in the foil. Mmm. Lava Lanch. Not to be sour, it's just very, very bad hit. It's one of those cards that they put in for the draft experience, which I prefer that they do. Um, but it's just, it's, it's bulk chaff at this point. Uh, that is 240. That is our third Lava Lynch. Just a real feels bad from a value perspective. Then we have a borderless Glimpse the Unthinkable. Whoa, that is cool new art by Drew Tucker. Really like that. This version is 378. Normal version of Glimpse. For this set is... 218, and that is our fifth glimpse. I don't know who's blowing up my phone, but they need to stop. We have Creekwood Liege. Etched foil. Very nice. This version is 382. Normal version of Creekwood Liege is... 197, and that is our fourth Creekwood Liege. Oh, that's pretty. Borderless Foil Concordant Crossroads. Very nice. And I believe this is the first time Concordant Crossroads was ever available as a foil. It was in this set. I'm going to grab a sleeve for that. Very nice. We got a cat dragon to go along with uh, a miscut cat dragon token. Very nice. And a spirit. 1-1 one, one spirit with flying. You know, sleep up that glimpse too while we're at it. Very cool. All right. Well, thank you for joining me on this adventure to with you know, Double Masters Collector Box number two. Uh, I know it is a bit of a throwback. This is Double Masters 2022, not the original Double Masters. Yeah, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff for the algorithm. And until next time, stay awesome. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks. Bye.